All right, ladies and gentlemen, graphic designers, we're going to do part three, sculpt in Maya. Okay, so if any time during the spiel you don't see what I see, that means one of these windows is gone. You can do this. You can go display. You can go to UI elements, and you can go to restore or show, and that will get all these things back. Okay, so the first thing we're, we're going to do is we're going to get this thing set up for that we don't mess these things up. Okay, so we're going to click on this, and then we're going to shift and click on this to select both of those. We're going to go to make sure we're in display, and click on layers, and we're going to create a layer from the selected. So we have a layer. We're going to call this layer reference. Okay, and we're going to save it. And then if you can see, you can turn the V is for visible. We can turn that off, but we're going to click on that and make it a reference. That way we won't, we can't mess it up. We can't edit it and mess it up. They'll just sit there forever. If we want to move them, we can, but they can just sit there. Okay. All right. So from there, what we're going to want to do is the first thing we need to do is make a polygon. Actually, but I should probably let you look at my spiel here. Okay. Write this down. R is for reference. R is for reference. This We already did all this. Okay. You can hit pause and write this down. All right. You can write that down. Okay, so here's what we're going to do is Okay, so we're going to start with the first thing we can do is you can go to a pol polygon. Okay, so like I said, we're going to make start with a polygon so I'm going to go with a cylinder, I'm going to click and drag, okay, I'm going to raise it up, okay, so the next thing I can do is I'm going to probably want to come over here, and I probably want to play around with the size of it, okay, so I'm going to go to, so you're going to want to go to the attribute editor, Okay, so and on here we'll go to poly cylinder and we can increase the subdivisions later on that's going to help us um, give us more to work with. So before we didn't really have much work to work with, now we have that. Okay, so back over here into the channel box, uh, at this, then I want to rotate this thing so I can click on this and I can, I can, once I click on it, I can change this to like 90 degrees and see what happens. That was the wrong one, so we'll change that back to zero. We'll try this one, 90, see what that does, no, and we'll change this to 90, there we go, something like that. Okay, so there we are, we've got a, we're going to deal with a polygon to get us started with, and we ed edit it. One thing I want you to know is when you hit Alt, if you click the right key, you can rotate, if I, I'm pressing Alt on the keyboard. And then on the middle mouse button, Alt on the keyboard, middle mouse will pan. And then the left one will zoom in and out. So if you press Alt on the keyboard, you can zoom all around. You can pan and tilt. Okay. Um, the other thing you can do is you can hit the space bar. Let's try that again. If I hit the space bar, it goes to multiple views. So I have the top, front, or I have the front, different views. Okay. So I can click on this and change it from the... Anyway, I can click this to the whatever view I want. But anyway, so I want to click on this as the view I want and hit the space bar again. And I'm going to go like this and tilt and zoom in Okay, to get me something like that. Okay, now the next thing we need is... All right, so we need to play around with the gizmo tool and the object mode, component mode, and mode, and the other tools. Okay, so we're going to click, bring this back over here. Okay. So we're going to start over here with our main tools that we normally use, and we're going to click on this guy. And right now, if I right-click, I'm in object mode. I can't really, I can move it and look at it, but I can't edit it. I can't change it. Okay, but I'm going to go to the edge mode. So we'll go edge, vertex, vertex and face. So edge mode, I can select these edges. So if I click, okay, so I, it allows me to basically select a line. So if I click on that line, and then I'm going to move move around, zoom in a little bit, okay, so what these tools will allow me to do is now that I've selected it, I can use this and I can move it out, okay, let's try this again, so I select this thing, and then I can use this tool and I can move that 
line out okay so that one thing at a time okay um, if I right click and I go to the vertex I can do it choose individual points okay uh, one way, way to do it is like this I could go here and let's say I want to get this whole row right here so I hit, I'll hit escape and so I'll select I'm in vertex mode so I can select all those guys and then I could I could I could move those if I want so I could go to the move tool and I can move it whichever direction each arrow is a different direction so I can move it this way I can move it up or I could move it this way as well okay all right okay so the other tool while we're here the other tool that I can use is I can use the sizing tool and I could grab the whole thing and I can increase the size or decrease the size okay okay alright so let's keep looking so if I right click and I go to face it's gonna allow me to select whole shapes or faces so I can click and drag all these faces okay and then so I can do the same thing I'll hit alt and I'll rotate and I can say oh I want to use my move tool and I want to move it in this particular direction I want to move it this particular direction so on and so forth okay so that's a, those are the main tools you're going to be using okay all right oh I didn't show you the brush tool I guess I'll show you the brush tool okay so let's go back all right so the brush tool is I can select whatever I want so if I hit B and I right click I can change the size of the brush okay and I can just select whichever things I want like oh I want to work with these and then I can move those okay alright so let's keep going okay so write these down okay we just did that with in component mode uh, so by yeah alright layers oh okay that's kind of it okay so that's the main way that you're gonna be sculpting and just so you know I didn't really do this very well but just so you know as you're doing it the whole idea is you put the shark like this and then you can move the whole thing so I'm gonna go back into object mode and then I can move the whole thing so I'm gonna have an object mode no, no I guess I'm not in object mode so I'm gonna go to the selection tool make sure I'm in object mode I click off click on should be able to select the whole thing so the idea would be Okay, you move this thing where you want and you start shaping it to look like the shark, okay? And the other piece is um, you're not just going to use one polygon. So, for example, if I was doing a guy with arms, I'd use one for the body, one polygon for the neck. I'd use a circle for the head and so on and so forth, okay? Ready, go.